All right, guys, today we're doing decorative on Wix.com. So thank you for joining the video. And today we're going to go over exactly what is the decorative in the ad menu on Wix. So how we can use this are several different ways. So for example, if you want to add something decorative, you can actually use it as a button. In our future videos that we're going to have, we're going to actually go over again what buttons are and how to add an anchor, which applies to the button and how it takes you exactly to the location of the website that you want it to. So without further ado, let's continue over to the decorative. So just what decorative is, is exactly decorations for your website where you can add and you can modify different shapes, colors, and different pictures to kind of give that extra spice onto your website. On the left hand corner in the add button, you'll click it and it's going to be just below the gallery. Remember the gallery is the photographs here uh, or that you add onto your website. Well, let's click decoratives and it brings over to shapes, the vector art and the video box. Let's go over and we're going to start with like theme lines, the basic shapes, arrows, horizontal lines and vertical lines. Before I continue, I want to remind you to hit subscribe, follow us through so you don't miss any other tips and tricks that I'm going to give to you guys for Wix website building. All right, a theme line. If you're not quite sure what a theme line is, it's exactly the lines that are outlining on the page. Like for example, when you see this little line here, uh, you're going that's going to be the theme lines and we're going to click add again theme lines and we'll click and drag and drop it's a theme line and i'm going to move it so you can barely see it here there's the line see so you can actually take it and make your own little custom marker on the side where something finishes or starts however you want to classify it as <clears throat> you can change the design of the line as well you have the theme lined you can discover more lines, some options here, which is pretty great. Or you can customize the design too. So you can make the border, the line color, the same for, well, the boxes, the headers, everything else. It's all the same, top line width. It just kind of gives you those options to modify it and make it how you want. All right, so that's pretty much it for the line design. And you can also have an animation for that line as well, how that line appears when you scroll over it or when the page actually loads. So it's the same, nothing else changes uh, as the previous menu items as well. Uh, you watched me stretch it manually. If you want to stretch it to the full width, you can just click stretch in the little menu here and it will do that job for you without having to do it. Uh, you can also have the margins as well however you would see fit. All right, that's the theme lines, pretty simple, right? And once you create the line, if you don't like the position, just like anything else, just like how you have the page and you have different uh, components of it, you can drag and drop, well, the line is the same. So we can move this over, we can move this up. It's the same for the line as well. So we can drag and drop as well. Uh, you see, now oh, with the lines here, it also gives you the drag option as well as you can drag the page up and down to see how it's done. Pretty cool, right? Going back to the decorative, <clears throat> we have the basic shapes. These actually are really great so you can drag and drop. These are really great because when you're creating a button and let's say, for example, you don't like the button and you want to just kind of create something totally from scratch from the very bottom up, you can actually choose this vector art, you can use the shapes, uh, to kind of customize your own button. And I'll show you actually how to tag that later. So that link is kind of the same as well. The animation, nothing changes. So it's how when the page loads up or you scroll over it. Remember, we just went over that information. And that's it. Uh, and you can actually change the basic shape too because you've seen me drag and drop it from the menu. Well, this is another option. Uh, it's going to pull the vector art up for us for just one moment. And it pulls up the lip here. So now that we got the, the little dashboard coming up with the shapes, you can do it by the filter basic shapes, the vector art as well. And it's just a dashboard, so it kind of goes off into what the ad menu show is showing you, but a little bit different. And so you can come through and select whichever you want. Or you can actually, if you have a shape or a design, again, the site files, my boards, uh, you can actually upload the media as well. So the picture that you might have, you can do the same. Uh, all right. Going back to add, see there's arrows, it's just arrows pointing, and you can select those. The horizontal lines, so we've already did our uh, horizontals, you can actually do verticals as well, uh, and it shows you. 
Now, coming down to the vector art, which is featured, that's just some cool little pictures that you have. Again, if you don't like any of these, it's just some suggestions that they have for you. It will, they have a lot of options for you. If you don't like any of these, you don't have to use them. I just showed you the dashboard. Once you go to that dashboard, you can upload your own picture as well. And you've seen that before when images, just the same for a gallery and button and images, that's the same, same dashboard that's going to allow you to upload your custom photo. Uh, so it's, there's many options to do the same thing, right? So back to the record, you have featured, you have the icons, which is just an icon, the same with what it says, uh, and you have the animals in nature, logos and badges, and characters. All right, you can also do videos as well. It's the same. You're going to see videos too. You can do the videos the same way as I just showed you with the shapes. You can do uh, it as a video mask. So what a video mask does is exactly uh, covers it. It's a video already playing, but it's kind of the outline of the video, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of options to do it. You have transparent videos as well to add to it. A lot of different options. Now, they have related apps, uh, so you can do a, a visual status bar. So it adds a progress bar graph to your site, or you can do button magic, animate your buttons to the wildest wave, right? So you can actually animate your buttons and have them kind of do something a little bit different. Rollover image effects, smart pop-ups and forms, creates beautiful pop-up forms, and a photo editor, and the Lumish timeline. The photo editor is exactly where you're going to change everything. You're going to change the background color. I went over that too with you before with the images. Uh, so if you didn't catch that video, I would highly recommend to subscribe to us and go back and kind of go over images because that's going to give you a little bit more detail as well. This is the decorative. So if you want to make a box, if you want to make something big, a cool background, this is everything else. You, you can even treat these images, uh, these decorative things as stickers if you wanted to kind of go that route. So whichever you want is, is totally your prerogative. Uh, all right, in our next video, we're going to go over to interactive. Uh, it's pretty much the same. Uh, it's a box. If you don't know what a box is, uh, the boxes are exactly what these are. It's a, well, it's a box. It holds something in. So as you see this, this is considered a box. Now they have three images inside of this box, uh, but we're going to go in that into the next video. So don't miss another chance. Subscribe to us and catch us on our next video. All right, guys. Can't wait to see you again.